Hello watch fans, Beth Year Watches here and this time for you we have a men's Farrah watch. Now we've had Farrah or Farrah watches before and we've got the outer sleeve for this box as well. We have a disproportionate number of them for the ones made because, and this is fun this, I like them. So if I like them and I'm in charge of what goes on the website, you're going to see more Farah watches. So this is the Fekla, named after a Royal Navy battleship from 1815. It's a men's super compressor watch. What that means is as you go deeper, the watch pressure and or the water pressure squeezes the watch tighter. We've got these cross hatched crowns this one with their Farah logo on. And the time setting one is in bronze, which is something that Farah used to do. I think they now use a bronze cap, but this was the earlier one. The watch is from 2020. We have all the paperwork in here. Nice boxes, these. We have the paperwork with the date of sale and this is the five year guarantee as well so it's still in manufacturer's warranty we even have the polishing cloth uh, all titanium case even if it is polished slight wear marks i mean very very slight look at the strap we're going to give this a wash just to get any little bits of dirt from it Exhibition case back. There is an inscription for a 50th birthday going around the outside. It looks like it was done at the time of it was originally sold. That might put you off, but you're not going to see it on the wrist. You can't get the blue model anymore. They only make this in bright red, which you have to be fairly committed to wear a bright red and red band wristwatch. Blue's a lot more easy to live with. Nice touches on the dial. Your uh, crown for the diver's bezel screws down as well and it only turns in one direction so you could line it up and set that and it's not going to get knocked even if that was unscrewed you can only turn the crown only turn the bezel one direction I can turn it this way as much as I want it's not going to go past that lock point the other nice thing about it being screwed down is it that won't get knocked now and you won't end up just having it out of symmetry it's a 26 dual automatic movement the same as you will find in many a Taikoya, Oris, Tudor so you're not losing anything on the movement side at all over those brands but you've got this beautiful textured blue dial and it's going to be more interesting than those you could walk into a room full of watch fans and they won't have seen this model before if they have it's probably because they bought it it's not if you walked into a room full of watch fans wearing a let's say a tudor black bay nice watch but they're not exactly exclusive this is going to st cause a bit more of a stir plus this is way cheaper they do nice details. The buckles are just finished nicely. The, the print on the dial is very, very good. Uh, it has to be different because it's not a heritage brand like Tudor or Longines or Oris that competes in the same sort of one to three thousand prime pound price when new. This it does come in cheaper because it's not new. To see the price, click the link in the pinned comment. That'll take you to berthierwatches.com and it'll show you a bit more about the watch. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.